Yeah, hi guys, Jasper Hewitt here from Bushwacker, Africa, based in uh, South Africa near Cape Town. We are super excited today to launch the new project we've been working on for the last 12 months called the Bushwacker Camelback Camper, specifically designed for this Land Cruiser 70 series single cab 4x4 vehicle. So we've taken the concept of our Bushwacker Sundowner SD2 Classic and we've taken the body and, co and conceptualized that into a new shape, modified a few of the uh, mounting points and uh, dimensions and customized it to fit perfectly on the back of this Land Cruiser 70 series. It's a simple, remove the load body, the load bin, using the same bolting pattern, drop this camper on, onto the back of your Land Cruiser and you've got a perfect off-road, off-grid camper to use for your explorations around the world. So let me start with some of the features. I think the primary, primary feature about this product, which sets us apart from many of the other competitors on the market, is that it is full, fully aluminium constructed. We've used a high grade marine quality aluminium and we've built and developed the whole concept out of aluminium to save weight. It dramatically saves the weight on the whole suspension system. So even to the point where this whole rig fully equipped as it is here today, all we've had to do on this vehicle is add air suspension bags to the leaf springs just to give it stability and to compensate for your ride. But other than that, we haven't had to remodel, redesign and replace all that, exp that expensive running gear that one would normally have to do on some of the heavier conversions on the back of these Land Cruisers. So let me start by showcasing all these amazing features offered by the Camelback Camper. So we start with the top here, we have a storage cabinet, swing out door, which facilitates the capacity for a five kilogram, five liter uh, gas propane storage tank, which feeds the power, the gas to your two burner hob stove, and also to the propane gas heater system, which heats the water for your washing up area in your shower, which we'll get to later. So more storage in this area. We have an LED light in that compartment. We have another LED light up here, which will shine down your fridge at night. All of these areas are well dust proofed with, with good, uh, good sealing. Then we've got the fridge pull out system, which is a heavy duty tray, aluminum tray with a stainless steel work surface, which is very popular in our range of models. It just uh, folds down like that, clip it up, and it gives you a handy surface to put things down while you're op operating inside your fridge. At the, on this model, we've equipped it with a National Lunar 90 liter capacity. Um, so it's a nice big fridge, it's got a lot of freezing and uh, fridge capacity, but we have a whole range of other models that fit this area too, depending on your preference. So we'll just slide that in there. If I look underneath here, you'll see that we have another storage compartment, a little handy toolbox, which is perfect for uh, odds and ends and recovery equipment, whatever you need to get access to quickly while on your expedition. In the door too, we see we have these built-in air vents so that, you went, so that your fridge breathes and keeps it, uh, ventilation going when closed up, which is great, perfect for the uh, motor. Getting back to the kitchen area, very similar to our Sundowner model. Uh, kitchen insert, foam insert, equipped to four cups, plates, mugs, wine, bottles, times three, which we su supply complementary, goblets, this handy pull out cutlery drawer, fully equipped with all your knives and forks, and utensils required for preparing and cooking meals outdoors. It's a great big work surface, two burner hob, uh, pots and pans, kettles, chopping boards. That's all standard with Bushwacker. We don't give you half a product. We give you something that you can utilize and, and enjoy straight away when you go camping. So you don't have to go and search for all the little odds and ends. Bushwacker puts it in there and it's equipped ready for use. Uh, as you see, we have another bracket up here with an LED light. This gives you a yellow and white option. So depending on the midges, mosquitoes, you can choose your preference. The same with this area here, another light built into that area gives you three different color options, red, yellow, and white, with different, different dimming settings too. So bringing us around to this area, um, a little smaller than what we do in our Sundowner model, but a very similar setup. Your propane hot water geyser system, driven by gas, a mixer tap, swing it out, 
open automatically the gas lights up gives you hot water on tap and you got cold and hot there to mix as you according to your preference a little work surface and a wash basin so that just clips on here into this bracket very quick to set up all aluminium and very lightweight coming around to the back we have a panel here which indicates some of your power functions and water meter so the voltmeter here gives you a voltage reading or an amp reading connected to the battery system which is a 200 amp lithium battery which we fitted to this model um, we've also got a Victron management system in place, a 1200 watt inverter and a whopping 280 watts of solar on the roof which is in a bracket which, which is mounted permanently but can be removed to become an, a loose standing setup if necessary if you parked under a shady tree for instance. So that option is standard with all our products. So that powers your Victron system. It has a Bluetooth app function, so your mobile device will give you access to what's happening inside your power system, telling you how much volts are coming from the solar system, your hours left, operation capacity, etc. And that rigs the whole internal system, which gives you access to 220 volts or 12 volts, independent, off-grid, from, from any power supply. So it's a very functional system, allowing you to be uh, operating on laptops, equipment, charging your camera batteries, whatever. Everything is included in this Camelback camper. And we also have a water meter at the back here with a powered switch to the pump. Now this water meter is connected to the 80 litre stainless steel water tank mounted inside the Camelback camper. So a very important function of this whole system is that the water tank is part of the actual camper. It's not separate and mounted into the chassis of the Land Cruiser. This allows you to then simply retrofit the whole unit onto the back of a vehicle by removing the load bin, disconnecting the, the inlet to the fuel system, removing it, dropping on our Camelback camper, bolting on eight bolts to, that line up with the original camper, cam, uh, uh, load bin, and simply plumbing in the fuel. Simple as that, and then plugging into your alternated charging from the vehicle. So it's a very easy aftermarket fit, which is part of the concept that we developed on this Camelback camper. There's a lot of extra features here that we've bared, taken into consideration. Many of my comp competitors have very long extended backs to their camper designs, which has a very negative effect on your suspension. Straight away, you need to upgrade your suspension and beef that up. And it gives you that, uh, that feeling of uh, being on the ocean where, the, where the, the vehicle is bouncy and it makes your front very light and unstable. In our case, the Camelback doesn't, doesn't do that for you. It literally fits the profile of your Land Cruiser. All we had to do was modify our custom in-house bumper that we manufactured for the Camelback with longer extension brackets and I think it's about 100 millimeters that it comes out the back allowing you to maintain the same length of what your actual vehicle's load bin was previously. So it makes a huge difference to your suspension. Now this, this back bumper of ours uh, produced by Dorsland, which is an in-house brand within the Bushwacker family offers you high lift jack points, towage point Heavy duty, heavy duty mounting points and two swing out brackets. So we'll have a standard swing out bracket here which carries the second spare wheel. The standard spare wheel can still fit underneath as per normal. Then you have a second swing arm option which allows you then or either a third spare wheel for instance or if you put extra fuel capacity under the floor, a second spare wheel here or one of those brackets that allows you to carry jerry cans, wood, all your accessories. So those are options that are available on this Camelback Camper rear bumper setup. Another in-house specific design that we developed for the Camelback Camper is this amazing set of steps. So it's a scissor action set of steps, just collapses, folds up nicely and it stores in a, in a storage bag. But it has two locating points here which is part of your high lift jack points. It slots in there, you pull it out, it adjusts itself to the floor height and voila, you have a very strong, comfortable, safe set of steps which is often the drawback of many of these camel back camper com competitors that we have in the market so combine that with the very safe easy in and out steps it, it adjusts itself to the height plus we've got a full door height remember that a full door height that we have on this camel back camper very few of our competitors offer that experience of access with ease without having to bend over double or reversing backwards so bear that in mind guys when you're looking at, at product on the market accessibility safe access a good grab handle there nice high door door height those are all key features to the comfort of in and out and enjoying the experience so let's come around to this side 
Our doors obviously have a canvas door and a net door, plus a solid aluminium door which you can close for security with a caravan type lock center and then these press locks which seal it in for traveling. So that, bear that in mind, it's got a little a latch over there. We've even fitted a set of sand tracks on the back door in this model. It's a great uh, backup just in case you get stuck in the sand and it's out of the way so it doesn't really interfere with anything else in your packing. Just push it open like that and it clicks into place. Coming around to this area, similar to our Sundowner models, we've included a little washing up area to complement your shower. Um, basically a little bathroom. We've got a storage box at the top here, aluminium storage box, which you can use as a medical box as well as your, your shower equipment. Built-in mirror here, so you've got a little mirror built into that surface. And then we have a drop-down opening here with a hot and cold tap. A little tap shower which gives you access to this basin on a little tray that just folds up underneath here. So you can sit, you can stand here and wash and, and do your toiletries in the mornings before, or the evenings before you go to bed. And obviously that all is complemented by the Bushwhacker shower. Yes, the Bushwhacker shower also fits on the Camelback camper. It's got a swing out bracket right here, customized, modified, so it swings in nicely to the side of the vehicle, clips in a, in a security, securing uh, bracket out of the way, but simply just swing it out, open it up as you've seen in our previous videos. There it is, the Bushwhacker shower on the back of your Camelback camper. And voila, it's a full meter by meter, lots of space inside here, little pockets inside. And then obviously the additional shower rows, open that up and you've got water on tap, nice and hot, ready to shower. Now how cool is that guys? Such a little thing to do. And if, you, if you're outdoors on your own, don't worry about putting up a shower. Just put up your shower rows and, and shower out in the nature, enjoying that freedom of outdoor camping. So there you have it guys, all this is complemented by the kitchen, access in and out of your camper, your camelback camper, your little bathroom access at the back here where you can do your toiletries and washing in the evenings and the mornings and then the bushwhacker shower. Isn't that phenomenal? So let's go around now to the other side and we'll look at the whopping huge queen sized bed. How many other campers on the market offer that experience? Lots of space, comfortable mattress, Plenty of ventilation, great cooling fly sheet on top, windows capacity that you can see all around, and that comfort of being close to nature but secure and snug in a large, comfortable bed. Well, the Camelback offers that to you. All our netting is fine, midgy proof netting. It has a canvas window too that you can close upwards so you can always maintain a ventilation flow of air through your system. As I said, we've got this fly sheet on top, which gives you lots of cooling from above. It's got an insulated inner lining here, so there's no condensation, no direct contact to outside. The perfect setup, and it's really just a simple fold out, clip into place, hook the elastics, and you've got a queen size bed. You don't lose a lot of space with these slide in mechanisms and gadgets that a lot of the competitors offer on the market. You've got interior space, easy setup, nothing can fail. Nothing can jam, so you're secure in the sense of having that reliability aspect in the product. So yeah, guys, there it is, the Camelback Camper. As you can see from the top, we've got the double pop top as well, which is synony synonymous to our Bushwhack Asana range, and uh, allows you that interior height, which we'll show you shortly when we go back inside. And just to give you that feeling of space that you'll experience when you walk inside the Camelback Camper. Phenomenal. Really, really impressed with how we got that space of that feeling, that openness, that you're not crowded and cramped into something small where you don't want to be in except to go to bed. Here inside this Camelback camper, you can live, sit, read, eat, work, sleep, and have fun and play games, whatever it is, whatever makes you happy. You've got the best of both worlds in this Camelback camper, inside and outside living. So guys, let's go around and have a look inside. One more thing that I forgot to mention about this bed that the Camelback offers you is the fact that you can stand right here, open up the window, lean in, shake out your duvet, clip on your sheets, make up your bed and pull it all straight so easily. You don't have to crawl around on your knees inside in a crampy little space. Look at this, you just stand right here and you can set up your bed comfortably and without having to crawl in. So there it is, another feature about the Bushwhacker Camelback Camper. Yeah, and one other thing that I can mention about the Camelback Camper 
that we have a standard now on this model is the additional gas strut that we fit here at the back which helps you lift up the main top pop lid very effortlessly and also controls it when it comes down so that makes a huge difference to people with elbow with shoulder strength issues or whatever that weight of the solar panel and the rooftop with the with assisted by gas struts and this helper makes lifting it a breeze right let's go inside once again remember these great steps very stable easy in and out and uh, look at this my 1.9 meters clears easily walking in and out of this back door so come inside with me guys and ha let's have a look so as i said coming in we've got lots of height inside here and this roof is insulated with 25 millimeter polystyrene it's got a nice insulation condensation sheet padded it's built into it as well we've got a light standard it gives you the function of yellow or or white inside you've got as you feel look at the space i've got around me lots of space ventilation windows all around the canvas can open up the net can open up so you've got access at night if you want to shine a torch out or take your camera and take a picture from outside you won't be influenced by the net it can't be opened or closed so once again the little mirror that we have inside our sundowners that features is also part of the camel back lift it up and uh, hook it up there and you've got a little place where you can sit and look in the mirror and do your makeup if you like or just have a look at yourself whatever it's right there all these features another light over here is mounted for work work uh, surface it has the yellow and white function as you can see there um, then we have another shelf into this space over here which is ideal for putting books and small items lots of storage over here too with cupboards and, and, and pockets all part of the uh, setup inside your uh, camelback then you have this work surface which is hinged at the back it just drops down and folds away or as i said you can sit and eat in here work in here whatever all this gives you a good work surface bedside table to your bed and uh, complements your operations inside if you need to be in inclement weather out of the cold so another feature then we have similar to the sundowner model that we have our three cupboards lockable cupboards we have two over here another over there and a third cupboard so there's lots of packing space inside the camelback camper for your clothing to go in as well and then bear in mind that this whole volume inside once closed is open so you can leave your bedding on top of the mattresses you've got place to put chairs ground sheets extra tables whatever you can even put a couple of bicycles in here if you need to by removing some wheels they would fit in here it's plenty of volume you don't have something that slides in from the outside and interferes with your internal packing space we also have these additional support poles which you can then uh, set up for very strong inclement weather if necessary and it gives you a, a backup if you ever have a failure to your gas strut so there's there's also that backup that bushwhack always thinks of in terms of you don't have to push a button to lift it up and it doesn't work what then ours is mechanical it goes up it goes down if something fails you make a plan use your backup support or whatever but it'll still function and you can go camping very important about going off road that your, your products must be practical and reliable and that's what bushwhacker focuses on inside you can see now from here some more lighting but two reading lights over here so that you can lie in bed at night and read and enjoy the quietness there's your large bed um, we offer a full range of bedding options too bushwhacker branded bedding options this is a queen size bed it's comfortable and uh, spacious and obviously another important thing is underneath here is loads of packing space once again under the bed we don't waste a single space inside our products every little bit of space we can utilize will have some form of function so there's good good packing space under your bed and uh, you can see the 218 amp in this model lithium iron battery so a lot of power in this rig so we just close that down and then another good feature we'll, which we'll focus on shortly is your power supply that's all tucked away neatly in this cupboard and uh, all powered by Victron so it's a really compact reliable system it has a national backup a world backup global support so we are very happy to be users of the Victron product range bear that in mind that we always focus on reliability 
So there you have it guys. I think um, this is a, an amazing rig. You can actually feel the space in here. Two people can easily be operating at the same time inside and feel comfortable in each other's space. So there you have it guys. Let's uh, focus on um, making sure that you get hitched up with Bushwhacker and invest in a lifestyle that the Camelback Camper will give you. For more information, you know the drill, click on the link and become part of the Bushwhacker family.